Hey y'all, it's me, Slay by Jordan, and today the hair we'll be using in the video is provided by Ali Pearl Hair. They sent me over some deep wave hair. Inside your packaging, you will receive two new caps and your hair, of course. I have a 20 inch frontal. It comes pre-plucked. And I also have three bundles of 28 inch. Now off camera, I'm about to go ahead and bleach the knots on this frontal and pluck the hairline a little bit more so it can look more natural. And we're gonna make it into a custom made, handmade frontal unit. And now we're back here with my client Jayla. So now we're gonna show you guys how I installed this wig. So previously she has had her own um, ball cap applied. I have done plenty of videos on how I do my ball caps. And now while the cap is still on her head, we're gonna take our foundation that closest matches her skin and we're just gonna put it all over the cap. And now we're gonna go ahead and cut that cap off. You wanna cut it as close as you can, but do not nick the client's skin. So if you remember my cousin Jayla from previous videos, she is allergic to alcohol. So we do not clean her skin with 91% alcohol. We will be using the Sea Breeze, which is an antiseptic, and it cleans the skin just as well. So even though it's in an alcohol bottle, I promise you it is Sea Breeze. So we're gonna use Sea Breeze and our Bow Hole Skin Protect to clean and protect her skin. And now we're gonna put the wig on. You wanna position it exactly where you want it to lay. You're gonna get your client to help you hold it in place while you sew the back and the sides. So now we're gonna carefully cut out her ear tabs. I would say the easiest way to do this and not mess up would be to just, to just part out around the ear and just cut it, but cut it slowly. You get what I'm saying? Because I know a lot of people have problems with cutting the ear tabs. And when I first started doing frontals, I did too. I would either 
always cut too much or I will have the frontal glue all the way down to the sideburns and that's just not something you would want to do. So yeah, just carefully cut it out. Now we're taking our boho active and we're going to dot it along the ball cap line and then we're going to smooth it out using our popsicle stick. We'll be using three layers. Our third layer is dry and now we're gonna lay that wig down. Now with Boho Active, this glue dries quick, you guys. I know some of y'all in the comments say it doesn't work. Y'all, I used to think the same thing about Boho. I was like, this mess does not work. Boho dries a lot quicker than Ghost Bun, so you have to work fast. And when you're putting down your frontal, you kinda wanna work in sections. You see, I started putting my glue down on her right side, but from the camera, from your view, it'll look like the left side. When that turns clear, go ahead and lay that side down. Even though the other side is not dry, you need to go ahead and lay that side down because if you don't lay it down right then and there, the glue will dry out. And with Boho, when the glue dries out, it's not gonna stick. So you have to work fast. So as soon as the glue turns clear, lay your lace down. Do not be afraid, lay it down because the longer you wait, you risk more that the glue will dry out and then you'll have to either add another layer or your lace will not stick. So yeah, once you lay everything down, you're gonna go ahead and take your blow dryer on warm. <laughs> you see, I kind of burn her, <laughs> don't mind it. And um, we're just gonna melt that lace right on in. And now we're gonna tie her up and put her up on a hooded dryer for about 10 minutes on um, medium to high heat. And unfortunately, these JoJo Blue Silk Wraps are out of stock at the moment, but we have a new color coming, so they will be back in stock soon, and I will definitely update you guys on that. She is now back from the dryer, and we're going to um, Make a slit in the middle using our shears and then we're going to cut off the excess lace using our eyebrow razor. I feel like the eyebrow razor gives you a more, a more natural look, but I've seen some people cut their lace off with shears and it looks just as natural. So it's just whatever is comfortable with you. You just do not want to cut or razor it off in a straight line because when you do that in a straight line, it will definitely give you a wig appearance whether your lace is plugged, whether it blends or not. You just don't want to cut in a straight line because your hairline is not in a straight line.
And now we're gonna give that frontal a good press. You wanna make sure that frontal is melted into that skin. I learned that from Easy Breezy. Shout out to you, girl. So now we're gonna take a piece of the back of the frontal and we're going to use it to cover the tracks in the back. So I'm gonna take my, this is a Cara Care Styling Wax Stick. Y'all, this is not deodorant, I promise you. <laughs> I just be going through the comments laughing sometimes, you know. I know y'all just wanna know what it is. It's Cara Care Styling Wax Stick. And um, it just smooths the hair down and makes it lay in place better. So I'm gonna put that over the hair and I'm gonna use my hot comb. And we're just gonna smooth that back into place. And I'm also gonna use this to um, set my part into place. We'll be doing a middle part today. And now we're finna put these baby hairs on swim using our Nairobi foam boost. I learned this boost technique from Erica J here on YouTube. Shout out to you, girl. So now we're just gonna section off a thin row across the front hairline, which is gonna cut it to about an inch to an inch and a half. And then we're just gonna start swooping it into place. When doing this method, you kind of work fast. You don't want to have that mousse on there too long. Although Nairobi doesn't have alcohol in it, you can still lift your lace if the phone is on there too long. And also you want to use like a little edge brush thingy because when you use the comb, you risk lifting your lace. And you also want to be gentle while doing this. Like don't force it if you get what I'm saying. Like, cause when you force it, you're going to lift your lace.
And now we're gonna tie that up tight. And she will go up on a hooded dryer for about 20 minutes on high. You wanna make sure this is completely dry. And now you're gonna peel your wrap four off and boom. Looking like she got a fresh relaxer, so like she foreign or something. <laughs> so now we're gonna take our frizz buster and we're gonna put that across the hairline. Not on the hairline, but across like, you'll see what I'm saying. And we're just gonna comb that back and we're gonna hot comb it. And now we're about to comb those baby hairs out to make them look more soft and natural. Well, I wouldn't say natural because, you know, a lot of people feel like baby hairs aren't natural at all. We just gonna make them look more soft, more cuter. And we're also gonna pluck out some of the excess hairs because I feel like it's kind of a little too thick for me. So yeah, you can definitely pluck it out. You can also cut them shorter. So don't be afraid because the hair is molded into the soup. So you can still comb it and position it where you want to. And that lace is melted, period. And now we're about to finish smoothing out the top using our hot comb. And then we're gonna take our free spray and we're gonna start combing it into the position we want it to lay.
And now to define her part more, we're gonna take our rat tail comb, we're gonna lay the rat tail on top of the part, and then we're gonna take our high beans temporary black hairspray, and we're gonna spray it at a distance, and this is just gonna make your part look more neater and crisp. Boom. And now to define her curls, we'll be using the Cream of Nature Mousse. And once we put the mousse all over the hair generously, we're gonna brush it out using our paddle brush and then we're gonna scrunch it up. Now, I don't have the full video of me defining her curls because everybody decided they wanted to call me yesterday and was aggravating me. So my video stopped and I thought I was recording, but I really wasn't, so I truly do apologize. But you can look at some of my other curly hair videos and I use the same method with, with the mousse. Excuse my language, but that shit is motherfucking late, and that's just on period. I thank you guys so much. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all later. Goodbye.